Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. And welcome to Abide in April. We are on day 28 of our prompt and the word today is sacrifice. So today, the 28th falls on a Sunday. So um, I just picked an easy one for this side. Um, just a easy layout, I mean, not an easy verse. And it's Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love just as Christ also loved you, and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. And the other one I picked for this side, Hebrews 13, 15 and 16. So over here we had Jesus' sacrifice for us. And then here, what sacrifice would be acceptable to God that we would put forth. Through him then, let's continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips, praising his name. And do not neglect doing good and sharing. For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. I wrote praise and I put the direction up because praise should go to him. Um, this part here, do not neglect doing good and sharing for such with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Reminded me of this one over here. Do good, be rich in good works, be generous and ready to share, storing up for themselves the treasure of a good foundation for the future so that they may take hold of that which is life indeed. So here is part of that. Um, that work, the good works, sharing, and it's also a sacrifice, and it pleases God. I just noticed over here with the uh, praise him going up it's like the sacrifice that God is pleased with so he hears it and then the fragrant offering where was that over here an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma so since God is in heaven, the, um, the aroma would waft up to him and our praises have an aroma to him as well and he is pleased with it. And that's why I put the the music notes here as well because the fruit of our lips can be speaking it can also be singing I'm not a professional mu music person so I just doodled some what I think looks like notes. So here there's some very simple things that we can do that please God. Again, not to earn our salvation because 
that's not going to happen. I'll say it this way. It's a result of our salvation. When you're truly saved, you can't help do the things your father does. I mean, look at people who aren't saved. They're continually doing what their father, the devil, does. That's how Jesus put it. I decided I wanted to practice my feathers. So that's what this is. I'm trying to make them not look like leaves, but it's a little harder for me than I'd like to think. If you like to have scripture read to you on YouTube while you're watching something, I started a new channel where I doodle and I fast forward those to reading of scripture. I've only done one psalm as of, you know, as of today. Um, but if you have favorite passages of scripture, that you would like to have read, uh, put them in the comments and I can see if I can work on some more. Um, the new channel, the name of it is Grace Blossoms For You 2. And it's the number two. So there's, I'll try to put a link to it below. So yeah, let me know if you like that. I was thinking of doing the Book of John as a startup project, but um, that's a bit of a bigger commitment doing a whole book. So I'm thinking it would be better to start a chapter at a time. So yeah. That's everything for today. I hope you're blessed and are staying close to Jesus and really taking the abiding part of this month to heart. So I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.